Shalom, and you're now locked in here. It's like Talk TV, where you get nothing but the raw and the real whenever I'm in front of the camera. So make sure y'all show the page some love, like, subscribe, and share. Shalom, 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 and greetings, and welcome back to another episode here at Is It Like Talk TV, one of the number one platforms where what? That's right, we don't get no pay Now, family, uh, as I told you guys uh, yesterday on the live, um, today I'm not going to be live. I got some things I got to take care of this morning. So uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do a pre-recorded video and I'm going to drop it for you guys to put eyes and ears on. Okay. And then tomorrow we'll be back live. Okay. <clears throat> um, but uh, you guys see the title. Okay. You guys see the thumbnail. That's right. We got to talk about Sleepy Joe. Okay. President by day, alien by night. Who is running the United States? Okay. Now, I'm going to switch things up a little bit today. Um, I know you guys are, uh, like to come and get a lot of entertainment and stuff. And I'm going to continue to entertain you guys as the Titanic is going down. But um, from time to time, I'm going to do uh, messages like this so you guys can be up on what's going on. Okay. Uh, here a little, there a little precept on precept line on line okay so uh, uh one of the ox sent me a video yesterday right uh and we're going to put ears on that right um what i want you guys to understand is that america's in trouble okay uh i did a video and i'm just gonna let me see let's get this pulled up i did a video and let me just blow this up for you guys right I did a video about three years ago. Okay. You guys see that right there? You guys can go to KOI University. Um, that was done three years ago on my other page. And it's titled America is Finished. Okay. So you guys go ahead and put ears on that. You know, when you guys get time. Um, but I spoke about this years ago. Okay. And you guys can go check it out to see if what I said is come to fruition. Okay. Um, but with that being said, one of the ox sent me a video, right? And, um, let me get that video in the queue and we're going to put some ears on this, right? And then I'm going to start breaking down the question that I'm asking in regards to who's running the United States. Now, as always, the disclaimer is down in the description box. Okay. Um, when you guys come into the building, make sure that you guys are hitting that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. OK, I have a twenty five thousand uh, subscriber challenge. Once we get to that, I'm going to give a, a prize away. OK, until we get up to the fifty thousand. So we get to twenty five thousand uh, K followers. I'm going to do another giveaway. OK, so make sure when you guys come, don't just watch the videos. Hit the subscribe um, button. Right. It's free. OK. Um, also make sure that you guys, uh, share this video, get this video out because people are going to want to put ears on it. Okay. Um, uh, I know we are caught up in the stuff with the Drake and the big threes and the ditties and all of this other stuff that's keeping us entertained, but you're going to want to hear the things that I'm getting ready to breathe on the day. Okay. Now let's get into it. So this guy now, you guys can go over here and check this video out on this guy channel. He's called Professor Nez. OK, we're going to uh, listen to a quick clip. OK, fair use by this guy known as Veteran Biker. Now, if you listen to this uh, interview, now I'm not saying you got to go listen to this interview, whatever the case may be. I'm just I'm gleaning something out of here that he said during this interview. But uh, he explains how, you know, he was in the military, things of that nature, you know, so he does have. Uh, intelligence and um, you know things of that nature in regards to you know uh, how the U.S. military run and you know stuff like that but he revealed something in this video that was extremely disturbing and I'm like wait a minute something is not making sense here so I want you guys to listen to what the question that's getting ready to come on that Professor Nez is getting ready to ask him and I want you guys to listen to his response okay 
um because at, at the end of this i'm going to tell you what i'm thinking is getting ready to happen when november roll around okay now let's get this guy going uh boom and let's go Auto. Thank you, Joe, for being here. How do the Dems get rid of Biden in May? Well, I mean, it's not, it's not the, the it's all about delegates, right, uh, uh, Ben? Yeah. It's delegates. What? The other thing is, I think that Joe Biden has, has turned so many good old Democrat voters against him. The black population's running from Joe Biden. The Latin American community is running from Joe Biden. There's a lot of people, I, th I think the Jewish community, the way we're handling Israel is running from Joe Biden. But the way they get rid of Joe Biden, you just got to see it. Go back and pull up any bloopers on YouTube. How many times has he fallen down? Do m Most people don't know that Joe Biden had the top of his skull removed two times during the Biden presidency. Two times. Top of the skull removed. And you're oh, So that's why he looks different now. And then those old pictures. Bingo. Two times. Top of the skull removed. So Joe... There is a laundry list of medical problems. Family, did you guys just hear that? Did you guys hear that? That man said that he has had his head removed twice. What the hell is going on? Joe Biden has had his head removed. Let me just get that back, man. Let me get that back, right? Because, it, like, family, this is, this is, this is, this is, you know, let's bag, let's bag that up a little bit. Let me bag that up a little bit. I ran first. Oh, oh yeah. Go There's a lot of people, I, I think, the here. How do the Dems get rid of Biden in May? Well, I mean, it's not, it's not, the, the, it's all about delegates, right, uh, uh, Ben? Yeah. It's delegates. The other thing is, I think that Joe Biden has, has turned so many good old democrat voters against him the black population's running from joe biden the latin american community is running from joe biden there's a lot of people i i think the jewish community the way we're handling israel is running from joe biden but the way they get rid of joe biden you just got to see it go back and pull up any bloopers on youtube how many times has he fallen down do most people don't know that joe biden had the top of his skull removed two times during the biden presidency two times top of the skull removed and you're oh, so that's why he looks different now and then those old pictures. bingo two times top of the skull removed so joe there is a laundry list of medical problems that they could use when the time is right and i mean maybe if that happens you might get a new governor in california uh, gavin newscom might might go you know be that guy but i really think the democrats are rethinking that don't, don't never believe so family <clears throat> now you guys can go watch that interview uh, if you choose to do so but joe biden has had his head removed okay and this is why he 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 looks like a a little child like you know what i'm saying like what are they doing now y'all gotta remember that this is the president of the United States, okay? So whatever doctors he's dealing with, he's dealing with top of the line doctors. What are they doing? They've removed his cranium twice? What? <laughs> Family, this shit is getting spooky. So my question is who's running the United States? Let's look at something here, family. Okay. Check this out right here. Let's get this blue up. Let's get this blue up, right? Let me blow this up for you guys. Now, this is right here. A 2019, a, uh, hold on, a 2019 study which looks into the memory def, uh, deficits among people who have had brain aneurysm surgeries note that short and long-term memory deficits are noted 11 months after surgery and y'all bear with me man my allergies and stuff is all messed up man i'm all stuffy and stuff like that 
So just bear with me, please. And it's not going to be a very long video. The study also notes that after 48 months, many of these uh, deficits improve. OK, so what they're saying is now this guy just said that they went in his head twice. OK, so it's going to take time for that stuff to heal up. This is why if you when you notice a lot of time Biden is out on the beach and a lot of these different places and like that, because he's still healing. Who knows what's going on up here? You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like family, they didn't remove this top twice, according to this guy. Okay. Also, okay, let's put eyes on this, right? It goes on to say, <clears throat> it would take three to six weeks to fully recover. If you had bleeding from your aneurysm, this may take longer. You may feel tired up to 12 months, uh, up to 12 or more weeks if you had a stroke or brain injury from the bleed you may have permanent problems such as trouble with speech thinking muscle weakness and numbness and this is what we see exactly coming from the president you know what i'm saying when he's falling and he can't remember things like that this is what's going on man this is what's going on so the question is who's running the who's running the united states who's making these calls who's doing who's doing it um family let me explain something to you guys right and this is something that you guys are going to have to understand it is going down right now okay it's going down uh you guys watch the current events the things that's going on you got to know that it's going down it's been up all this talk about world world three is coming no world world three has already started it been started okay it's been started and all we're seeing now is the strategic chess pieces being moved into the positions that they need to be moved in. OK, this is why everything have shifted from one area to another area. You know what I'm saying? This is all chess. Um, the person just recently came out and told y'all the entire world who's backing them. OK. So what ones have to understand is that it's finna go down. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the Israelis is getting ready to strike in Iran. They're getting ready to strike. They already said that there's going to be a response. We've heard what Iran has said. They're going to do if something happens. Okay. Meaning that all of this stuff is finna happen because you got to remember that Benjamin Netanyahu, he has to strike. You know what I'm saying? He has to save face. He can't just, you know, been talking about Iran, all this stuff, and don't do nothing. Benjamin Netanyahu is going to strike. Now, I don't know the magnitude of that strike or what's getting ready to happen, but it's getting ready to go down. And you guys got to get ready for that, okay? Um, check this out, too, right? I'm going to tell you something else that nobody is talking about. See, whenever you look at, you know what I'm saying, China and North Korea, I'm under the impression, right, that North Korea is the, uh, how can I say it? They're like the, they're just like the, you know, like how you have, you know, like how you have a, uh, you know how you have a company, you have an owner, okay? And then you have like a president or the or whatever that's like the face, you know what I'm saying? They're just the face. They take orders from somebody else. So that's the thing, in my opinion, with North Korea. You know what I'm saying? The United States is not going to strike North Korea because North Korea is too close to China. China will get involved. I believe China allows them to do all of this stuff. Okay, you go ahead and do that. We're going to be the face to do, to do all the business and that. You do this because ain't nobody going to mess with you because if they mess with uh, North Korea, then, of course, China gonna is going to enter in. But now what one's got to understand is this, right? Let me break something down to you guys. And you, buy, you guys see all this playing around, this horse playing and things like that. Y'all going to understand this in a minute. Now, check this out. Do you see right here what it's saying in regards? Let me blow this up for you guys, okay? And I just typed in, right, okay? I just typed in, can... Uh, the, the uh it's speaking about kim jong's own most powerful weapon right is ready if u.s makes the wrong move right now this was in this was last year just right at the end of the year when all of this stuff was going on right okay in the midst of all of this stuff right it says the missile was fired thousands of miles 
into space before it fell safely into the waters between the Korean and Japan Pen uh, Peninsula, right? Okay. Let me see. Oh, well, you know what? It's not going to allow me to... Uh, well, we'll just go right here. It says the whatever this is, Hobble Song, Cobble Song, whatever you want to call it, 15 could travel estimate an uh, estimated 81,000 miles and reach the US within a half hour. Okay. Think about this, family. This missile that this guy can fire, right? Can travel 8,000 miles and it can reach the United States within a half an hour. A half an hour grasp a half an hour beyond yang uh okay bear with me bear with me is roughly seventy five thousand miles from florida with the west coast being much closer in recent years kim has pledged to develop a icbm uh that could reach fifteen thousand kilometers or about ninety three two hundred I mean, 90, 93 and 20 miles on a normal trajectory. Okay. So what is that telling us, family? This guy, Kim Jong-un, can hit. He could. He can hit. He could touch the United States and anywhere in the United States. Right. So if it's 6,000 miles and I just I did some quick math. Right. You know how we do. We compute and we calculate. Right. If this guy. Now, think about this. The missile can travel 8,000 miles, right? Okay. 8,000 miles. Now, check this out right here. Okay. Check this out right here. Check this out right here. Check this out right here. Now, it's telling us that the distance from the United States to North Korea is only... 6,423 miles okay this is how far this is how far it is now when we look at this so that's 6,000 and let's just look at this right here it tells us right here that the distance of DC to California the distance from DC to California is 3,704 uh, kilometers the air travel distance is 2,000 right so this means that this guy kim jong-un he could damn near touch washington dc from north korea okay from north korea right <laughs> california is even closer las vegas is even closer okay so what you guys got to understand why am i telling you this because you guys have to understand when you have war going on it's chess it's not checkers if the United States got all they fleet over here in the Middle East and we get struck over here, then what? Because just like you play offense, sometimes you have to play defense. So then what? You got to move all those pieces out of there and like, like family, like this is going to go down. Y'all better get ready, man. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in the earth, right? And I know we are entertained we want to you know what i'm saying but y'all better start paying attention to detail did y'all see yesterday they were speaking about how uh they were speaking about up in california and also in manhattan how you had these protesters that pretty much was barricading the highway i think they shit was gluing their hands to the ground or you know sticking like all type of weird stuff is going on you know what i'm saying man if y'all pay attention ever since that eclipse or whatever they the hell happened that day I believe something was unleashed because I was watching that thing and I was on with Ak and I was showing him. I said, you see that line? Like, like that don't, that you shouldn't see that. You know what I'm saying? But then it just depends on how you was looking, if you could see it or not. Something happened on that day and I believe they are trying to conceal what happened on that day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, ever since that day, there's been a lot of stuff that's going on. You got to look around the United States and I understand they want to keep us entertained, but y'all better wake up, man. Y'all better make sure that you guys have everything that you need in order uh, in case uh, something happens. You know what I'm saying? Water, you know, food to hold you over, whatever the case may be. But yeah, man, them days and times are here, man. You know, all these kingdoms come to an end at some point, man. 
Um, and it looks like, you know, we're nearing that, <laughs> we're nearing that point. You know what I'm saying? And see, Yah is getting ready to iron all this stuff out. He's getting ready to iron all this stuff out. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of chatter. I see a lot of panicking. You know what I'm saying? But I see, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, where the big homie at? Where the all should die at? You know what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, I'm just going to sit back, watch the show. I'm going to get my popcorn because I already know how it's going to go down. What's, you know, what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? And we just going to buck win. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we're going to go from there. So, uh, make sure you guys share this. Get this out there, uh, top people, man. Let them put ears on this. Uh, because, man, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, y'all stay safe out there, okay? Um, like I said, uh, tomorrow we'll be back on live. So, uh, y'all stay safe out there, man. Make sure y'all prepared. And I'm signing off here on Israelite Talks, Talk TV. Shalom.